Ralph Norman from the Palmetto State, five minutes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Ms. Young, for appearing. Thank you for your call, too. You're always uh, uh, good about that. Um, you know, as, as our chairman mentioned, the president has been in hiding. Now, he did come out of hiding at the, I don't call it State of the Union, I call it State of the Screen, um, where he pretty much screamed the whole time. He did read a teleprompter pretty well. But let me ask you this, how do you define pay your fair share? Define that for me. Uh, thank you, Mr. Norman. In our s uh, suite of proposals on revenues, I can talk about a few of them. One, corporations before 2017 tax law paid 35%. We would ask that corporations go to 28%, so not even as far back as they were paying before the 2017 tax law. Uh, taking into uh, capital gains but pay, as regularly order, ordinary income. But we are trying to get revenues back to, uh, when we talk about surpluses in 2000, 2001, uh, back to those historical averages that allowed for those, uh, the, the room to create surpluses. All right, let me ask you, if you ask everyday Americans, would they agree with a 4.7 billion Southwest border security fund that absorbs illegals, it doesn't stop it, it absorbs them into the country? Would the average American agree with 3.2 billion for advanced gender equity and equality worldwide, whatever that means, would they agree with 2.5 billion for the Centers of Disease Control to address the causes of violence in the communities? Define that for me. When he's letting everybody from 160 countries, including uh, gang members, come into America. Uh, 60 million uh, for gun violence research across the CDC and the National Institute of Health. Uh, when you're letting everybody come in that, uh, as has been seen, the crime in this country is skyrocketing, would Americans agree with that? Would Americans agree with 11 million at the uh, DOI to preserve stories of cultures and history across America? Somebody define that for me. I'd love to follow those checks and see where they're going to. My issue is the priorities, I think, if you ask everyday Americans, they would revolt against this. That's why his approval ratings are in the tank and they're going to even lower. Um, a question that I have that many people uh, that's buried somewhere, uh, either in the budget or the appropriations, in 2018, uh, there was a bill that put up to basically set up the, the GPS backup system, which is the security of America. 2018. Up to this date, uh, CBO sc scored it as a revenue producer. Uh, it hasn't been enacted since 2018. And it, it may not be a fair question because you may not know it, but could I get an answer uh, on why this isn't a top priority? Who is stopping this uh, at the DOT or where, whoever's um, the OMB has undermined this, but this is a national security concern. Would you give that back to me in yeah. writing? Ha happy to, Congressman. W uh, happy to look into it. Um, you said not enacted yet. I assume it's enacted. You're trying to figure out uh, implementation. Implementation of the GPS system, which everybody listening to this and in this room uses, but it's a national security issue. Um, the, the fact that we are, as the chairman mentioned, we're 35 trillion in debt and, and rising. We can ignore the other agencies uh, if we want to, but they're running in the red too for Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, Highway Trust Fund. It's unconscionable what this administration is doing to not solve the problem now, particularly as, as we've got a national threats that are being highlighted uh, by our own people in this administration's cabinet. The FBI director is saying the red lights are going, the blinking lights are going off. And I guess it's going to take, I don't know how many more fentanyl deaths we have to have that's, that's a direct result of this administration ignoring the immigration issue. I don't know how many more well, Lake and Riley's, which he did get the name out during the screaming union, but he didn't get it right. Uh, how many Kate uh, Siley deaths we have to have before we say enough is enough. And the money, the priorities have got to be redirected. I got 21 sec 20 seconds if you'd like to respond. Uh, I would. Look, the immigration, I've been in this town for 20 years, is a difficult issue as any that faces Congress or any president or administration. Did president Trump address it with the wall? 
And we had a chance to do something on a bipartisan basis no, no in the Senate that would have helped stem flow uh, and allowed us to have an orderly border. 5,000 a day, you call that uh, stress? Uh, having a, with the resources needed. That's not right. Thank you. I appreciate you coming. I thank the gentleman from South